Hello and welcome to Firefall Live. Every Friday, I didn't say every morning this time. Yes. Every Friday we're here at 10 a.m. Pacific. <laughs> um, I'm Frank Letieri, a.k.a. Feta Pez, your host for Firefall Live, uh, one of the community coordinators at Rib 5 Studios. And as always, today I'm joined by the lovely Sarah. Hello. Hi, Sarah. Uh, we don't have a guest today. No, we're just, guestless. Just you and I. No one wants to talk to us. No one wants to talk to us. We tried Bobby. We tried Steven. We tried Kevin. Come on, Kevin. No. Come on. Kevin no. said no. Come on. <laughs> um, mm. But we didn't, try, we didn't try Knife Lady. She's already been on. Old news. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> So, but the cool news is, is we do have something lined up for next week. Uh, we're going to have Ghost Jaguar on next week, uh, Steven. Oh, nice. Yeah. So he said he'd be on next week to talk about some stuff that uh, he's working on. So he's on the live team. And, uh, With me. Yeah. And you. And me. And you're newly appointed to the live team. That's right. So, yeah. So Cloud Chaser uh, just recently appointed the community team, like, or inducted the community team into the live team. And what the live team is about is... Um, Stuff like uh, the holiday stuff, mm -hmm. um, and special events, the special the special weekends and stuff yeah. like that. So, but we want to we want it to be more than that, right? So we want to do more than just like resource bonus weekend or battle frame weekend. Like those are cool, but um, we could we could do a lot more where it's like special events. So the the first example is the Crystal Skull Pirates. Mm -hmm. So like at random we can turn on this encounter where Crystal Skull Pirates will, will come in and then. There's more that that encounter has more pirates, and then you have a chance to get a drop of a crystal skull off of the pirates, and then a chance to get a crystal skull from the rewards. Yeah. So that kind of stuff. So um, that's kind of what the live team's working on is like we're, we're we want to get like a lot more gameplay elements into the day to day of Fireball. Mm -hmm. and, Mix it up a bit. Yeah. So Ghost Jaguar is working on something for. Uh, I'll just drop a little, little little bit. Uh, he's working on something for Sunken Harbor that we can potentially start talking about next week. Uh -huh. um, so, and then the week after that is PAX East. Wow, already? Yeah. Jeez. So we, we're not going to have a show that week. So you're off the hook for, for the 11th. <laughs> uh, April 11th, during PAX East, we won't have a show. But um, JB Will and I will be going to um, PAX East. Yay, JB Yay! Will! And then we're going to have a, a community meetup at Empire. Oh, nice. Yeah. So we had it. It was the same place we went to last year. And uh, uh, James Jones got, <laughs> we, we found out that day he's allergic to coconut. <laughs> oh, oh, I remember him talking about that. <laughs> yeah. So, huh. Aww. That was weird. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, we're, we're going to have another meetup at uh, Empire, 5 to 8 p.m. Uh, pretty much open bar. Nice. Beer, uh, wine, and well liquor. Uh, we're gonna have some food and everything, so everyone can come hang out, talk to me and JB Will, talk about the game and stuff like that. So, and you don't have to go to PAX. To go, like, so if you're in the area, you just want to drop by, you can drop by because it's outside of PAX. So you don't need a PAX pass to get in, and you don't. You could be over. You could be under 21. You just you can't just drink. Can't drink. You can't drink. This is not Canada or Europe or anywhere else. Or in the anywhere world. else but here. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of everywhere else in the world, uh, I believe this weekend is uh, Europe's daylight savings time. So, yay! Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> welcome to having longer days. It's so they much should, nicer. They should welcome us back to the rest of the world. <laughs> in America, we have to do everything our way. Yeah, we have Rawr. to do it our way. Rawr. So, uh, that's important because the time for Firefall Live may change for you. What I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start posting a countdown timer to Firefall Live when we, when we send out tweets. Just to be like. Wait, am I late? Because, like, we've been doing this for, like, a year and um, almost a year and a half now. And it's like, when is it? Is it over? <laughs> Did I miss it? What's it's happening? like, okay, we're going to get a countdown clock. We're going to put it somewhere. I like it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that kind of stuff. So, uh, Red 5 News. Sarah's making stuff. I'm, I am making things. <laughs> yes. Um, but you recently that. just joined the art team, right? Yes. That's awesome. So you're most, but you're you've been mostly working on our website stuff. Are you doing some other production kind of stuff too? Um, starting to do some production stuff, um, but yeah, mainly I've been working on all the marketing um, support 
So all the launcher and ads and community stuff, <laughs> and that's why I'm on the live team, because I'm doing all the ads for Battleframe Weekends and all that stuff. So. And our patch notes. So like you did the, the, the titles for our, like our patch notes page and stuff like well, that. Someone had already oh, that, okay, had so already done them. Kurt did them, and then you, you made them available for, for me to use. I edited the text. <laughs> yeah. Using that degree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really fun, though. It's awesome. I love doing it. And just the whole process of, uh, you know, when, when you see the battle frames in the ads, I'm actually going into the build and taking a, a live movie of it, and then I go and I fly around, and I get a good image and then I have to edit it and paint it over because you know there are things that aren't always accurate. Oh yeah. <clears throat> um, so uh, clipping. Uh. Yeah, clipping, uh, facial expressions because right now all of our characters are just like. No. So <laughs> painting on fa facial like, expressions. You just ask stuff. our characters how are you doing. Me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really cool though. It's fun. <laughs> I enjoy doing it. Yeah, it's awesome. So Sarah's working on stuff. That's the Red Five News. <laughs> well, no. a, lot of, a lot of people are working on a stuff. A lot of people are working on stuff. Um, uh, oh, so the other Red 5 news, now that I've refreshed myself, is, um, and this is stuff I am allowed to talk about, is community projects. So yes. um, we pitched, I think, nine projects to the, uh, the producers uh, a couple of weeks ago. And I think all of them are going to get done. And I... Nice. And then I remembered that there was like another three that I forgot to put on the <laughs> on the presentation, Oops. so I'm gonna be a very busy person <laughs> uh, coming up. But um, the the stuff I do want to talk about is um, so next week you can start to look for. Uh, I'm gonna start dropping some information on the NCO program. Uh, we're trying to get some final uh, final feedback on it before we before we present it. The cool thing about the NCO program is it's gonna be completely owned by the community. So. Um, whatever we post, um, the community can decide whether uh, something can change or not. The only things really they can't change are like budget requirements because uh, that's our money. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the only other rule is like you can't cut the community out of the process. So it's like yeah. it's going to be a pretty free um, program where the community will have, will, will, there will become like eight or maybe this is still up in the air, so maybe uh, it's an maybe it'll be an odd number, but a number of representatives that will um, represent the community as a whole to the development team. Awesome. So it's like kind of like an extension to the community team. Yeah. But the other cool thing is we're gonna we want to fly them out to um, to the studio once per term, and uh, they can have direct input on our backlog. So we show them our production backlog, and they can. Make make a case for reprioritizing some of this stuff. Wow. Or or and also add stuff to the backlog. So add features. I mean that might that stuff might drop down to the bottom, but they will add. At least it's there. Yeah, they will yeah. they will get features onto the backlog that will get looked at every every uh, sprint plan. That's really really cool. And stuff like that. So, what does NCO stand for? It stands for non commission officer. Oh. <clears throat> yes. Fancy. Fancy. So previously we had we had an NCO program uh, where it was just it, it was a recognition program for people that were um, model community members, but we want to do a little more with it where it's, where it's like the community can help in taking ownership with the yeah. product and this and you know starting with this system. That's awesome. Uh, another thing that um, we're, that's probably a little more rough in the works is the Army Relations Program. So if you haven't seen, I posted a thread on the forums where <clears throat> I was asking people when the best times were. Uh, and I then put that all in a spreadsheet, and I was like, well, this, this, this process was terrible. I, gotta, I need to get better at this part. <laughs> then Matt told me, he's like, hey, is there a website that I can do this for you? I'm like, thanks. Oh. <laughs> um, and I figured out some, some good times. And uh, so there's, this, there's now a sign-up sheet for the Army leaders. And what we want to do with the Army relations with, with this meeting is, like, make it so that... Um, the army leaders can like put together some sort of system where they can consistently give regular feedback to the development team. So we'll have the NCOs, but we also want to make sure armies as a whole are also representative. So we have all these different systems where, and this is not going to replace our regular going into the forums and interacting with everybody else. Right, yeah, because we're really big on that anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So there's, there's still that. Um, 
So we're going to have all these, we're just basically spreading out as many different ways as possible to collect feedback. Awesome. So, um, so we'll have like army level feedback. Like my army is concerned about this. This is the size of my army and stuff like that. So just to get that regular uh, flow to make sure that, you know, we're paying attention to the small armies and the big mm -hmm. armies and trying to make sure that we can get something to, to have um, stuff. Sorry, I read chat and then I just completely <laughs> to have derailed my stuff. <laughs> just have stuff. So, no, it, I think it'll be awesome. And there was one more I wanted to talk about. Oh, the new player pro, the new uh, the new player mentor program. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah, this is really cool. So this is this is one where, and we're still trying to work out the logistics. But the idea is that we empower some people to be able to help new players because there's a lot of people out there that will that just. I, I hop in game and I see these people talking to new players all the time, helping them out, providing non-troll answers, trying to get people into Firefall. Right. Um, so this is going to try and help empower people so that, um, and it's just going to be a, sort of a recognition thing, but it's going to be like some guidelines and they can actually have direct answer or direct access to developers for answers to some new player questions and stuff like that too. And the idea is that um, this person's recognizing chat so they'll have like another another icon, not the red five icon, but another mm -hmm. icon next to their name. So you know that, like visually, you know that you're getting your a information verified, from a good source. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Because I, I remember, I mean, just starting out in any MMO situation, how intimidating it is when you have no idea any of the systems. You don't know what any of the currency is. You don't know what anything yeah. means. And if you ask a question, you're just you know, attacked for it and yeah. just trolled to death. So that's going to be really, really nice for new players. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. You know, where do I get gas? <laughs> Apparently we didn't think that one through in terms of clarity. Uh, but the other cool thing is, um, as you, you know, we're also working on those systems to, to make them easier. Right. You know, so it's like... Yeah, that um, barrier to entry is <clears throat> less so, steep. So yeah, we're we're doing we're doing our we're going to be doing our part, mm -hmm. but then we're also going to open this up so that the community, that the people that want to help other people can feel empowered to do so. <clears throat> yeah, how do I get gas? Exactly. <laughs> what beans? Lots of red beans. <laughs> do you eat them refried or borracho? What's the difference? I, I have no idea. Is. Well, I know what refried is. I love well, refried. Well, yeah. I don't think I've ever had my beans borracho. Mm. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's that's some cool stuff. So we have we have those programs. So I mean, especially the NCO one. It's going to be like the the biggest one where it's like where there's like already there's like a lot of like questions and confusion and stuff like that. So it's like. Um, that's going to take some time to, to, to work, work out, out entirely. Details, yeah. So, but but I mean, that's going to be exciting stuff to, you know, really give the com the community a sense of ownership of um, the product and the game. And yeah. What they're playing. So there's uh, and then there's a bunch of other projects, but I can't talk about them now because we're not going to have them online before launch. No way. <laughs> not with these other ones. Uh, we're, we're not that we're not that good. <laughs> um. So um, there's that, and then there's uh, like some community news we have going on. Nice. Yeah. So um, first thing is tomorrow is FCOM. Do you know what FCOM is? I do not. I don't think you've been on a show where you plugged FCOM. So FCOM's a it's a it's a fans. So fans.com is one of our uh, who's also celebrating their uh, their anniversary next month. Aww. So it's our, our first. Uh, we're not our first, but one of our bigger uh, fan sites right now. Not definitely not our first fan site, <laughs> not even close. But um, they they are uh, they're celebrating their birthday. But every every month at the end, uh, the last Saturday of every month, they have a meeting to talk about the game and stuff like that. And sometimes I pop on there cool. and talk about stuff. So uh, I was talking to Sleepwalker, and I wanted to give him a little bit more information on the the mentor program and potentially the NCO program, mm -hmm. uh, so that they so that they have a little more substance to talk about. Yeah. Um, this coming up, and then hopefully, like in the coming months, there will be even more to talk about um, as we as we move closer to launch. So yeah, um, there's that on Saturday. I think I believe it's at uh, 11 a.m. our time. Nice. So that's pretty sweet. 
Uh, I, I just heard that Squid Boss is going to be doing Fire Talks. He does those on Sundays. Very cool. Uh, that's on Twitch TV slash Squid Boss. Uh, oh, Community of Chaos, of course. I can't forget my Community of Chaos. <laughs> I love those guys. We have the wizard in chat right now. The wizard of Community of Chaos. <laughs> oh, I always thought it was Wizard of Cock. Well, it is. Especially, well, <laughs> it is. <laughs> Um, so Lord Lamina is, he's still doing Firefall streams. I think he does them with Gabs, um, and he does those on Fridays. So definitely check those out. He's, he's actually really, really fun to watch. Uh, really nice guy to talk to. Uh, and then of course, I believe this is still going on and checking on me. If it's not AFG cast, the all fucks given cast, <laughs> that's really what it is. And I'm, and I'm saying it today. The AFG cast is, uh. Uh, is also goes on right after this show. So they kind of recap what we talked about on the nice. show and they talk about their things, um, stuff like that. And the last thing for community news today is we're going to do another uh, YouTube channel spotlight. Awesome. Yay. So uh, Craster, um, he, he, he asked me to spotlight one of his videos last week, but we had Pick Your Perks. Mm -hmm. And I was like, hey, why don't we just do another YouTube spotlight? The whole channel. Yeah, so because we did one for Co-op Comrades uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, he didn't send me a highlight reel, so I uh, spent like five minutes cutting a couple of videos, two of his videos up so that I could show him today. <laughs> I mean, well, it wasn't five minutes. It was more like an hour. But... Um, so for the future, what we want to do for this, this, this part of the show is uh, if you want to highlight your, your stream or your YouTube channel, uh, send us some highlight reels, and then we'll show them, and we'll talk about your stream or your YouTube channel. Yeah. That sounds fun, your, right? Your best work. Your best work. What you're works. most proud of. <laughs> so first up, he, so uh, Craster has uh, a couple of shows. He has three shows. He's got... Uh, Firefall First Look, which is, that's where he goes in and, uh, like, basically, like, a f when we first release new content, so, for example, when we first released Cliff's Edge, he ran Cliff's Edge and, and had a video about that. Um, he also has a Let's Play, which is, you know, new players, you know, teach me how to play Firefall. Typical Let's Play stuff. And Firefall History, which is going to be really interesting to see as we move along. <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's going to be really, I mean, I wish someone started this earlier just to see, like, wow, just just so many, so many memories. Um, but, yeah, first first off, uh, let's show off um, his, I believe it's his Let's Play. You're killing me, Marjorie. <laughs> You're killing me. Killing me. There's supposed to be two. Let's show the video. Wee. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Awkward. Sorry, I to be in order to call. We uh <laughs> This is just terrible. I love that it's just on Frank the whole time. This is like, just like we're, we're recording every single Play that video. Play it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Noobs. We are we are noobs right now. Roll that magical bean footage. What? Let's play Make Frank Look Like an Idiot <laughs> on Firefall oh. Live. <laughs> Quick, let's do something. Can you juggle? Can I juggle? No. I can't I do cannot that. juggle. Oh. <laughs> it's my fault. Sorry. I can name someone else. Uh, I think it's named uh, Craster01. <laughs> 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 we need to cut the break next time this happens. <laughs> this, is, this is the... Not any jokes. I don't, I don't really This is the worst ever. <laughs> Fow Fow Noobs. Do you, you, you have, have any, any jokes? jokes? No. I, I, well, only the only ones jokes. I have aren't appropriate for a live stream. <laughs> High Sight, Frank, can you dance? Absolutely dance, not. Dance. Absolutely not. I cannot dance. dance. No. Not happening. Do it. That's all you have to do. Just I shake just your arms. To... 
I can't even do that right. You can. <laughs> or you can do like the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the really vigorous salt and pepper shaker. Here we go. I, I'm, I'm hearing that we have videos. Press C oh, access. yay! We have a video. Scroll down to video. Hey, that's where we're headed. I'm actually not going to record all the way down to Sunken Harbor. There's one last thing I want to mention on the way there. And that is they gave you a scan hamper and the smallest class of thumper to start out with. I'm picking up the signal for a crashed LG. Again, in the location. previous episode, or no, in this episode, I, I linked good. a thumping tutorial. I highly recommend you check it out because it is the only way to gather any significant amount of resources in a decent amount of time. And resources, as lame as they sound, are extremely important for crafting and progression. So, in the next episode, we will be headed to Blackwater to check out that distress signal. Don't forget to like and subscribe until then. Like it if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't like it. Either way, though, I will see you guys next time. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that was a video of sorts. So that, that was uh, uh, Kracer's Let's Play. Uh, so that, that's, that's one of the segments he does. I'm pretty sure... We do have a second video, right? Yes. Okay. It's all the stuff I sent out yesterday. Uh. <laughs> uh, so the, uh, the, next, the, the next thing we have is Firefall History. This video um, is actually, uh, I think this is when we first put in some of the first wandering encounters. Oh, that was so, a while back. Yeah, that was, that, you know, it was, it was a little bit ago, I think. Yes. I don't have my comments, so I can't. I can't hear. So uh, let's 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 check out. Well, I don't know why I answered the director. It was just like, alrighty, let's check out this uh, fi look at Firefall history. Hey everybody, and welcome back to Firefall history. Today I am joined with special guest Squeakin' Orca. Um, Squeakin' Orca is doing a new website called Thumpin' for a Signal. She is helping get the word out about people like me doing videos and streams and it's gonna be real helpful so definitely excited to have her along. We have a very big patch today so we are gonna be covering it on our bikes. Um, what we're looking for is some of the new wandering encounters. Oh, looky here. We have um, LGV mines. This is one of these are one of the uh, encounters. Looks like you can trigger them with your weapon too. That's nice. Actually, haven't done this one. There was a different one where they've already successfully captured an LGV. So some of these, it appears, are just for entertainment value. So that's a, that's a look at a Kracer's Firefall history. So every time we put out an update or a patch, he goes through and well, like, scopes out the new content. So it's going to be, I, th I think it's a really cool idea so that you'll have like a nice series where it's just like, and here's from where it started, which I think he started in October or something yeah. like that. And so, so, it's so as, we, as we release more and more patches, just like having a look at like everything that goes in, that's... I think it's a really cool thing. Yeah, and so much changes, and it's funny because you forget because, you know, you play it every day, you see it every day, mm -hmm. and you it becomes normal, and you forget all the different things that have changed. And, yeah. I mean, it's been crazy in the 
two years I've been here. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty awesome. So there uh so definitely check him out. We wanted to like I said, we want to do a lot more of these uh these kinds of segments where um we're we're highlighting your stuff. So if you have if you make videos, you want to send me some uh highlight reels or if you're if you're a live streamer, send me some highlights of your live streams and stuff like that. Um your show show us your best stuff. You could be uh featured on our uh streamer slash youtuber feature segment spotlight thingy. Stuff. Spotlight stuff thingy. <laughs> we can also name it together. <laughs> Aww, <laughs> <'Cause>, group effort. <laughs> because it needs a name. So we have there's that too. Um all right, so why don't we go ahead and uh, take a quick break, recollect ourselves after the, you know. <laughs> I wasn't going to say epic fail, but. After fail again in 2014. <laughs> so there's that. Well, so yeah, why don't we go ahead and recollect ourselves. I'm going to have some coffee, wake up a little more. And uh, when we get back, we'll do some Q&A. So hop on teamspeaklive.red5studios.com, port 9810. Hop on TeamSpeak. And we want to talk to you guys. So, see you in a bit. For too long, man was trapped, chained to the ground. Continue to fight and die. Destined to fall unless we evolve. Hey, welcome back. Right now we're going to do our uh, TeamSpeak call-in segment. Do we even have a q and I guess? This, this sure. Our for this. It's q and I'm, I'm, Today I want to name stuff. <laughs> I feel like naming stuff, but I'm the worst person to name things because, and it just shows because well, I handle Spaded Pest. That runs in, um, that's a Firefall Red 5 tradition. Yeah. Because we're bad at naming things. I'd be a great designer because I can't name anything. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So first caller, let's bring in uh, Ace Access. And I hope your mic isn't going to kill me. I'm scared. I doubt it. <laughs> How <laughs> you doing, Ace? Fine. Good, good. My question is mainly about the tanking. The tanking. Why was their name changed? Why was their name changed? Yeah. They usually go on about, keep going on about that they are fighting for the, the good of all and all. So changing their name to Bandit just feel like undercutting that. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Um, so the reason why we changed um, the Bandits or the Tankin that you used to fight in Coral Forest and Ares missions and stuff like that to Bandits is because we wanted, the, the uh, narrative team decided that they, wanted, they want Tankin to be a specific thing and not like just everyday bandits, whereas we also still want the everyday like 
So you have the accord, and then you have like people are like, I don't, you know, I'm I'm not the I don't want to be a part of the accord. I just want to you know loot and pillage, fend for myself kind of thing, like Daisy style. That's what I would do. So yeah, so you're a bandit. <laughs> yeah. So we still wanted like bandits as thugs, but the tank and our specific other entity, which will be uh, revealed as we go through the uh, the narrative of the the uh, campaign. So. So when the tank and are made like a faction, will we will, will the accord treat us like traitors when we work for the tank <laughs> Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I honestly, I have I have no idea what uh, narrative plans for the tank I don't know if players That's will be able to play as tank That is a really interesting thought. Um, just because I think that uh, that can be used in many different ways. Mm-hmm. Well, that's my question. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Ace. Alrighty. I skip over this guy so much, but we also had him on a lot. Trees at? How you doing, man? <laughs> hey, what's up? Let me uh, mute my stream here. Alrighty. What's up, everybody? Not much, man. How are you? I am excellent and awesome. Nice. That's exactly what I expected. <laughs> you are always <laughs> excellent and awesome. Oh, well, you know. So it's all in how you look at it. So trees at so you're part of you're 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 part of the administrative group of fans.com, right? That's what they tell me. That's what <laughs> they tell you. So I, I hear I hear things like this, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you're going to be at, so, so I guess you're going to be at FCOM tomorrow? Indeed. Indeed, I will be. Are you and be... thanks for bringing that up so that, uh, you know, some of our newer players and everybody that's new to the community can get an idea of what's going on and what where they can come and give some feedback. I'm actually really excited. I think today was a big drop, like I was saying. I don't know that the title, Firefall Live, March 28th, was appropriate. This should have been called Epic Community program announcement episode <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean there's there's a lot of stuff we want to do and all uh, all the all of the projects all the projects all the things all the things i'm really excited for uh i wish i could talk about all of them but i i'll, I'll give you three which is enough to get me through this year um so uh are we are we gonna get some dig action at fcom tomorrow oh yeah yeah i can give you guys some dig action right now if you want <laughs> Mm. All right, give, give us like five seconds. Here's just a quickie. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Yes, we'll get some dig action at the FCOM tomorrow. Sweet. I've heard people and pass out we're trying all to play very that. Excited. People pass out trying to play that? That's what I hear. Huh. Difficult to play. Is it difficult to play? Yeah, it is extremely difficult. You have to learn how to reciprocally breathe. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Mm. That's why you pass out. Yeah, so I can actually breathe in and breathe out at the same time and play forever. That just sounds weird. <laughs> yeah. But I don't sure. think that's how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> just start breathing yeah, really fast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed. That's pretty cool. So did you have a question or anything, Tree? Well, I, I don't think I really have a specific question. And I, I wanted to bring up that since we're renaming things today and we're open to feedback. Sure, so, we're like, always open to feedback. This can just be where it doesn't necessarily have to be Q&A. This can just be calling in, like you're calling in on the show to deliver positive support. Say, hey, you know what? I don't have anything to ask. I just want to say I really enjoy what you guys are doing. And what you're bringing, and it's awesome, and I appreciate it. Aww. Oh, awesome. Thanks. We appreciate what so. you're doing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what we would call that sector of the show, but uh, I think that that's more appropriate because then you invite Trees anybody to come in. Spirit and say Walk what's up. Corner thing. Aww. That's what we'll call it. Spirit Circle. Yeah. Spirit Circle. Yeah. Welcome to the Spirit Circle. <laughs> Don't don't let me fool you guys. I'm just grinding that. I've got my crystals. There you go. My crystals and my animal teeth. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for this walkabout. 
should, That's what's up. I should, <laughs> should bring my family into this one. Welcome to the spirit circle. What do you want? <laughs> Get out of my hair. We're going to manifest destiny. We're going to create the greatest experience that mankind has ever known. I like it. <laughs> Copa Colin. That's pretty good. Oh, that's good. Copa Colin. Sweet. Or spirit fingers. Spirit. That is good. Wait, oh, yeah, I thought spirit fingers was down. Where's. If you're feeling really spirity, <laughs> I don't know. up here. Well, are spirit fingers and jazz hands similar? Or yeah, spirit fingers is more cheerleading. Jazz hands is more dance. But then people yes. call jazz hands what what James does, also. So there's many interpretations. Well, I can relate to that because I definitely speak with my hands a lot, as you might imagine. <laughs> It's good to be animated. Yeah. It is good to be animated. All right, man. Well, we're going yeah. to let you go. Time. Yep. Hopefully see you guys at the uh, FCOM tomorrow where we can talk about some of this new exciting stuff. Thanks again. Take care. Nice. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I'm going to try and make it to FCOM and uh, Fire Talks just because it's nice to go to all of them, not yeah. just one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's awesome stuff. Next up, I'm uh, going to pull in uh, Diablos. Hello. How you doing? Hi. I'm doing well. Awesome. What can we do for you today? Well, to I Copa have uh, two. <laughs> Thank you. I have two smaller ones. We'll see sure. if we can get to both of them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so a while back on the forums, uh, Phobos talked about uh prestiging or something along those lines yeah um and basically the community freaked out because he said wipe but it was voluntary um yeah is, has that been scrapped because like for example i really like playing my mammoth but i finished the frame so i basically no reason to go back to it i mean i i really feel like if people you know if if our designers want to have a further look at it and people really feel like it can be a useful system there's, there's no, you know, we, we can always have a look at it. So I don't, I wouldn't say it's completely off the table, but it's, it's something we could probably still think about. All right, that's cool. Um, obviously, you can't really give me any other information, I'm sure. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Um, it's, it wasn't a system that we had designed out. It was just, let's throw an idea, let's float an idea out to the community and see what, what people would think. Yeah. <clears throat> of course, yeah. Um, other thing, um, with the, the upcoming PvP army versus army kind of thing. Yeah. Um, in BNR specifically, the army that I'm in, we actually have three different armies, and I'm sure it would cause some balance issues if we were to, um, like, combine them, because then we would have one gigantic army. But is there any plans for increasing the army size in the future? Um, well, uh, first thing is you still have AOD to compete with. Because <laughs> they have they have, they, they have uh, three <laughs> armies as well, I think, or something like that. Maybe, probably even more uh, after that stuff comes out. But um, increasing the army cap. So it's, that's another thing. Actually, it was just Phobos and I talking about it. But that's another thing where there's, like, pros and cons. So it's, it's still uh, something that because there are large armies like yours and like uh, AOD, we probably should at least continue to talk about it. <clears throat> And weigh out those pros and cons, and figure out um, what what's what's the proper give and take, because the the, the fear being that um, larger larger armies can completely overwhelm or, or out progress smaller armies, and the smaller oh, of course yeah the smaller ten man you know five ten man armies they're just they just feel completely left out of the whole end game. So um, that's the big thing we have to look at and. Um, or it's just, or if there's like stuff that you guys can pump out, like gain resources at way faster rates than other armies can. So you can pump out things that'll benefit you a lot more easily than smaller yeah. armies and stuff like that. So that's also very overwhelming. So it, there, there's, there's give and take, but, um, it's something we should definitely continue to talk about because it sounds like, um, a hundred still not enough. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. That's all I've got for you. Absolutely. Thanks for calling in. 
Uh, one more thing, though. I have been playing for an extremely long time. This is the first time I've been on live. Awesome. I enjoy the game, and pretty much nothing will make me quit, and I'm extremely happy with where you guys Aww. are going. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, see you guys later. Later, man. All right, pulling in Mr. Fix-It. Mr. Fix-It. Mr. Fix-It. Fix-It. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Doing great. How are you guys doing? Great, man. Wow, this is awesome. First time in chat. Awesome, man. <laughs> well, welcome to the Copa Colin. What can we do for you today? <laughs> I'm going to make it stick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I had two questions. Uh, first question was about the uh, new program that you guys are rolling out. I didn't catch the first part of the show, so I was kind of, you know, waiting on, uh, you know, some, some more tidbits there. Mm -hmm. um, could you guys go over that a little bit? So uh, there's three of them. Uh, there's the NCO program, then the uh, new mentor program, and which still needs to be named, and the uh, Army Relations program. Uh, the big one being the NCO program, which is the one where I think will probably be the biggest benefit to the community as a whole. Uh, is it was it that one that you're more asking about? Yeah, the one about um, helping new players. Okay, so that yeah, that's the tutor program. So what the idea is that um, we have a system in place where we empower people that want to be helpful to be helpful, so that um, so that new players when they when they log in, they 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 chat with you. Um, and I still don't know how this is going to technically work yet, but what we want to do is maybe have a chat channel that they join in, that you're already in, and devs are in. So new players, so to cut down on that, that uh, you know, signal to noise ratio, more signal, less noise, that is. So that, That's right. So that um, when new players come in, they ask a question, you have these uh, verified by Red5 uh, helpers that are, you know, sitting there answering questions, helping get new, ease new players into the Firefall experience. <laughs> Sweet. So that's that's the kind of thing, and uh, that's that's the basic gist of the system. It's the things we have to work out about it are probably more technical than, you know, how's it actually going to, you know, how does it work for a, a person that wants to be a helper? For a person that wants to be a helper, it's pretty much going to be you're going to get like a little icon and you get to help people, <laughs> <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, but uh, we'll we'll release a little more information about that. Uh, the NCO program and probably that one, maybe towards the end of next week. Nice, nice. Uh, next question. Um, we, well, I was actually on the fire talks with Squid Boss yeah. uh, past Sunday, and one of the things that came up a lot was the pro the profession systems that we have right now. Yeah. Yeah. We wanted to know, like, specifically, are there going to be more progression, uh, prog uh, professions uh, since you guys are actually actively working on the war front and everybody's there? Um, what's the future look like right now for professions? I know you can't talk about a lot too much, but even just a smidgen of info, that would be nice. For professions. Um, as far as I know, we're not working on new professions yet. So uh, there's we, we spoke about the potential for um, other professions later on down the road, like, I don't know, resource hunter kind of thing and stuff like that. But um, that's that's not something that's that we're working on right now. Um, we're, we're more working on all the feedback that's been provided to us since 0.8, which is huge amount of feedback. <laughs> um, and we're, we're, we're still, like, going through that and digesting it, you know, thinking about it, designing stuff for it and stuff like that. So um, new professions probably probably won't see them until post-launch. All right. That's, that pretty much answers my question. Sweet. 
Thanks for Anyways, calling. you guys are doing a real good job. This is the first MMO I've ever played. I'm, I was always like a single player mm -hmm. type of person, and I'm truly having fun. I've been playing right now for probably like the last two years, wow. and it's been awesome. Good job, guys. Aww, thanks a lot, thanks. man. Thanks for calling in. All righty, I think I can get one more in. Well, let's get Kermit in and then one more in. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Oscar. Hey, hey. <laughs> How are you doing? Greetings, Jesus. Greetings, Faded Pears. <laughs> oh, it's the best. <laughs> you know, actually, we used to have a guy that worked with us that... No, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, we used to have a guy that worked with us where uh, Chappie, who was just on last week? Mm -hmm. was, it, was it a week ago only? It was uh, a week ago. He, he used to... He, he could do a very good Kermit impression, too. And he used to talk to... Dirty talk to this other guy when they sat across from each other <laughs> <laughs> in the Kermit voice and they just completely creep him out nice. all day. That's awful. I would never use uh, dirty talk. <laughs> what if you're talking to Piggy? Oh. Scandalous. <laughs> I don't talk to Piggy that way. Aw. Such a gentleman. <laughs> oh man <laughs> so did you have a question today <laughs> or just no i'm around? just coming in to give the uh the positive uh enforcement for your copa collins Woo, Thank copa you. collins <laughs> <laughs> it's sticking <laughs> yeah copa collins i think i think we're, we're going for it sweet well thanks for calling it in kermit <laughs> you you even are rogue it's coming up next. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Beaker. Beaker's easy to do. Me, 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 me. I love Beaker. <laughs> and I didn't realize until recently that the main guy, his name is Bunsen. Yeah, Bunsen. Like a Bunsen burner and a yeah. Beaker. It's so cute. Yeah. I, I had never <laughs> thought of, I didn't really know his name until recently. Yeah, oh. I didn't know that. Sorry. Oh, man. One last one. Rodina. Hey, so I've got a question. Um, a f about a month and a half ago, Adrian was on to uh, talk about sort of the events that and bosses that he's working on. And he said that he's working on a multi-squad, um, well, how do you put it? Multi-squad instance encounter. And I just want to know what that is is are we talking more like a 20-man raid or are we talking like something like volan or bane claw i think right now we're not we don't know what we're allowed to say <laughs> it's a surprise <laughs> uh it's a surprise uh how can i put it uh yeah i mean it's 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 kind of surprise i mean it's it's a it's Pretty much exactly as he put it. It's a multi-squad boss encounter. So you're just reiterating like exactly he what he just asked. Instanced though, but the whole game is technically instanced. So uh, I know. Uh. Okay. So what we mean by instance is uh, not in the open world. So. Okay. So that's what we mean by that. It's it's more like. Uh, inside it's like a multi-squad version of like these smaller instances so it's not like you will, you'll it's not like you'll find them out in uh the middle of diamond head or in the middle of copa or, or copa or the middle of like coral forest or something like that so not like bane claw in that way so not like bane claw in that sense and it's okay doesn't... now the, the question that you probably can't answer is is it a set number of players um I believe there's a set maximum. I don't know. Yeah, I, I honestly don't know. I think there's a set maximum. All right, cool. I like the sound of that. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, hopefully I didn't get my, myself into too much trouble there. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, soon. I know we like to joke about I that, know. but we're gonna, have a, we're gonna have a lot more information when we get... Uh, He's, he's uh I've 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 play tested that encounter a bit some. It's uh it's getting better. <clears throat> so it's it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. 
Oh, one more question, if I can sneak it in. Sure. Xenogenic was talking about a um, modifi uh, modifier to the uh, threat generation of the Mammoth Gun uh, for the alt fire and wall shield wall is up. I was wondering kind of where that is. Is that still a thing or? That's a good question. Um... Uh, that is that that is a good question. I don't know if we're if that's still something he's working on. I'll have to talk to him about that. I haven't had a chance to talk to him in a while. Actually, he's been so busy. Uh, both of us have been so, everyone's been so busy. It's just, uh, but uh, yeah, that's that's a good question because it, it always came down to like, do we want that threat mechanic? Do we want to start to build like kind of move into the holy trinity type area yeah. where you have like dedicated tank, dedicated healers, and stuff like that? Yeah. So I don't know if that's still a, a choice. Or if that's what we're gonna be doing. All right, cool. Thanks, man. I love your game. I look forward to playing it tonight. Thanks a lot, nice. man. Thanks, Thanks for calling in. All righty. So that was that will be our last Cooper or co last Super? caller for Copa Colin, Copa which is Colin a great Colin? name. Copa Colin caller. I think we can make that a tongue twister, which means that it's time for. Do you even art, bro? Yeah, we're on the ball for that one. We were prepared. We're ready for Do You Even Art, Bro? Who I'm is? Ready. I didn't come up with a person's name, but it's their favorite segment. What? I don't know. Usually we just like throw in like the Pope's favorite segment. Oh. So it's just like, it's someone's favorite segment. The Pope. <laughs> I think it is. the po This new Pope is pretty cool. I think yeah. that is his favorite segment. But every week is going to be someone different. Okay. So it's the cookie's favorite segment. I don't know. Anyway, so first up for Do You Even Art Bro, uh, and after today's winner is decided, we're going to have a face-off. I'm going to post a poll on Monday for all the winners of March. We're going to go up against each other for the grand winner for March for 80 red beans. And they're going to have a pants-off dance-off? They're going to have a pants-off dance-off. Pants it's not awkward. Dance-off. Because pants are off. <laughs> um... So first up, we have a video by Noxin. So that was Noxon's uh, Know Thy Enemy. Cliff's edge, edge bring. Oh, I just totally screwed it up. Our, our mics are muted, and I had this thing I was going to say, and then they were like, oh, you're muted. So I was like, oh, perfect. I'm going to have something to say when we come back, and then botch it. <laughs> foul, foul moment. Foul, foul moment. I'm an idiot. I hate myself. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> um... So yeah, the, yeah. I mean, some people are mentioning how these are these are old entries, but uh, we have entries we have to get through. Which, by the way, we're also running a little low on fan art, so we're still doing the segments a bit more, so that we don't have to show Foony stuff every week. Aww. Which, by the way, I'm but just that's not kidding. Bad. <laughs> but it is Foony every week, and we have another entry by Foony, which is the Firefall Jetball League, which is really dating these entries. <laughs> <laughs> Foul foul jet ball. <laughs> foul foul jet ball. <laughs> <laughs> so, an another another great piece of uh, Foony art. You know, I, I really I, I do really like what he does with the, with his art here. <laughs> it's 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 uh, he does he does some interesting stuff like the chosen, or uh, I'm sorry the bio assault and stuff like that. <laughs> really fun stuff. So I'm that's just wondering how do you even find the chosen 
a uh, little icon. Like, how does... It's on the map. Oh, you just had to Dark, blow it up. Darkism has like. Oh, <laughs> oh, poor <UI>. <laughs> He's like, well, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> uh, um, Darkism posted like all of our icons and everything. Oh, that's stuff right. Stuff like that. So. There's a. Uh, there we have Funi's Fao Fao Jet Bao. Fao Fao Jet Bao. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Funi. Um, and last but not least for this week, we have River Rat Juniors back from Blackwater Anomaly. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, it's really sweet. So. There we, there we have our, our three entries, and uh, now it is time for us to vote. There's only two of us here, and no, we're not going to the peanut gallery. They, <gasps> they're terrible. <laughs> they're all, they're all mad over there. Um, Sarah, what, what are you, what are you gonna go with? Uh, one vote for all, and then my final vote. Goes to oh, River at Junior. River at Junior. I really like the the arrow hologram and really creative use of of the back window, the back bay of the dropship, throwing that New Eden shot in there. <laughs> I like it. We uh, I'm gonna vote for uh, and I just gave him crap, but I'm gonna vote for Fooney. Fat foul jet bow. Because I want Fat Fat Jet Bob. Well, then Fooney wins because I gave everybody one vote and you gave Fooney a second vote. No, because now Fooney's tied with River Red Jr. Community, chat, vote. Go. So we're going to let chat vote. Go, go. Everyone's seeing, let's see, so far we got back from Blackwater. Two chat for, delay. Three for Black from. If we're, if we're counting Zim, Zimbabwe. Fow, Fow, Jeppo. Well, looks like... <laughs> I think River Rat's going to take it. I think it's Foony. Or Foonian. Are you sure? Because I'm seeing a lot of River Rats Waffle. and Blackwaters. I see Waffle. Waffle wins. Waffles win every Wednesday. Waffle. I think, I think Blackwater just won. All right, We're calling it. We're calling it. I think I think the community voted. Blackwater won, wins. Foonie keeps submitting art. I do. It, it is a treat every time I see your name pop up on our inbox, and I'm like, it this makes is me be happy. another. It is. It's yeah. gonna be like another fun piece of art to, to look at. So, I'm sorry, I insulted you. I'm very sorry. That's right. I'll give you eighty Bad red beans. Bad Frank. <laughs> <laughs> So every, and last but not least for the show, every week we, we like to cap it off with some caption this. On Facebook, we post a photo. We've been trying some gameplay shots, which I think are still fun. But I saw, I, I saw a site Wednesday morning that I could not, I, it had to be captioned this. So here's, our, here's what we have for caption this. It's uh, Kirk, a.k.a. programmer, who's been on the show. <laughs> I walked in, I'm like, what the heck are you doing? He's like, I'm making coffee. So, so cool. <laughs> oh, I did not know he was making coffee. I'm like, this is all science and shit. It's amazing. There's a coffee shop that I went to, and they, they offer all these different kinds of, of ways of brewing coffee, and they had one of those, and I ordered just a cup of this. First of all, it was like five zillion degrees, and I burned <laughs> yeah. the crap out of my mouth so badly. But it was like twelve dollars for just a regular cup of coffee from that thing. So he's <laughs> he's serious about his coffee. Yeah. So, for the the first uh, the first one I picked was actually his his favorite. I showed him the, the comments, and this was actually programmer's favorite. Eight bits of this, sixteen bits of that. Yes, two hundred fifty six bits of water. <laughs> <laughs> of course, he's gonna like that one. Second, I'm making this coffee with red beans. They're going to love it. Oh. Wait, you're jumping ahead too far. Oh, no. We're in the wrong order. We're off the rails. You're out of order. Is it the blood of virgins in the top? <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> Virgin we need, blood. We needed that comment on Facebook. I would have put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We're, we're, we're getting it together. Hot dog license. It doesn't take pods. That's not right. <laughs> so next up we have, I'm making this coffee with red beans. They're going to love it. Third, which Tastes we Tastes like just saw. money. Tastes like money. <laughs> that would probably taste like this terrible. All right, next we have uh, time to put the melding to brew. Yeah. <laughs> um, next we have Walter White's formative years, which was submitted by our very <laughs> own stage manager who's back here, Kevin Williams. That's awesome. <laughs> I saw it, I was like, okay, we got to have that. So thank you for submitting <laughs> that one, Kevin. Nice, nice uh, meth breaking bad reference. Can't go wrong with those. Uh, next up. And here we see the rare programmer melding the morning brew for his brothers. And sisters. There are a handful of us. There are literally <laughs> dozens of us. There dozens. are Dozens. Yeah, there are a lot of you. There aren't dozens. It was a reference to a show. Oh, I completely miss it because I don't watch TV. Arrested Development, Tobias, a never nude. There are dozens I've of us. I've seen maybe two or three episodes of Arrested Development. You're doing life wrong because it's <laughs> incredible. Um, next up, <laughs> we have uh, overworked programmer loses it completely and begins lifelong pursuit into the mystical world of alchemy. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. I think that applies. But uh, my favorite, and I think this like really applies globally to all programmers, uh, is this last one. Did you know that programmers are amazing devices that transform caffeine into code? That's how that happens. That's exactly how that happens. That's how that happens. I'm amazing. We, uh, that, that's pretty much what he does. He just takes that coffee and it then becomes code, which then has a lot of bugs in it. And Twizzlers. And then he has to fix it. Twizzlers, and Twizzlers. are fuel, um, um, caffeine, energy drinks. Energy, monster. Four days. Uh, chocolate, beer. That's the, that's the other thing. He's like, in the morning, he, he turns caffeine into code, and then in the afternoon, he turns beer into code. Yeah, he's, and he's always the first one who's like, we're out of beer. It's <laughs> we're official. At, he's the beer czar. Yeah. <laughs> we're out of beer. Don't worry, I got the orders in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I don't think I came up with my own caption for this. If you emailed this to me, I didn't see it, so I don't have a caption either. <laughs> <laughs> but... That was, that was a really fun caption, this. Thank you, Kirk, for cooking coffee and that thing. For cooking and, coffee meth. And a, yeah, coffee meth and a Bunsen burner. Because that was, I mean, I had a cup and it was awesome. And uh, thank you, everyone, for providing awesome captions. Uh, don't forget, right after this show, we're going to have the AFG cast. Well, not we, but the community members are going to have the AFG cast. Um, FCOM tomorrow, 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. Something in Europe. I'm not doing the math right now. I think it's like <laughs> nine or uh, nine GMT. It sounds right. No, yeah. no, that's not right. Oh, I, I was I was gonna agree with you. You could have said it's unicorns, and I'd be like, it's, yeah, it's unicorns GMT. I think it's five PM GMT. Now that I think about it, um, <clears throat> we're out of beer. I think I need more coffee. What else? Next week, hopefully, we're going to have Ghost Jaguar on, talk about some cool stuff that he's going to get in for live events. Yes. Woo! And that's it. Thank you for joining us this morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. And enjoy Firefall. Enjoy Bonus Resource Weekend this weekend. We'll see you.